Hey folks and welcome back to the channel. We've got our final piece to the suspension puzzle. We're going to install it tonight, so stay tuned. So what we've got here guys is a stock replacement spring hanger for the front on this 77C10. Somebody has gone and put an aftermarket one which raises where the spring mounts on the frame. This stock replacement is actually going to lower it by a couple of inches. Therefore effectively creating more space between the axle and the frame. So this is what we're going to install tonight and then the suspension will be 100% complete. Well, maybe 98% because we don't know if we're going to cut the coil out of those front ones yet. But that'll be determined once we get the box back on, which will be happening just as soon as we get this done. So let's get to her. So rather than you guys sit there and watch me struggle in time lapse on getting that thing put together, they are now together. This thing is sitting right where I hoped it would be. Let's take a look. So the hanger sits the spring down a little further, which means it's pushing up on the frame. And if you look at the distance between the bump stop and the axle, it's a lot more now than it was before we put those on. So now the next step is to get a bunch of guys together get that box put back on Dale. Okay, so I've got four guys, myself and three of my buddies here. We're gonna get that box loaded up, so take a look. Okay, so now that we've got the box back on, let's get it backed out of the garage and see how that stance looks. So in case you haven't noticed already, I think it's still sitting a little bit too low in the back end, at least compared to the front. But I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we cut one coil out of the front and that'll bring it down just enough so it's level with the back end. And it'll also look better once we get the doors back on it. Let me know in the comment section down below guys what you think. So this is the first time we've actually had an opportunity to get it outside of the shop since we've been working on it and I'm pretty excited to see how it looks from the front end and get away from it a little bit. And it's definitely sitting lower. Of course that hood's not shut all the way. Hey 
And you know what? That 350 sounds so good. I'm afraid to even touch it, but I think I'm going to like it. So I can't get over how good that motor sounds. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, we are going to be tearing it apart here very shortly in some upcoming videos. And uh, we'll get the block sent away, uh, maybe even get the head sent away, get the new springs and valves and stuff like that done. Polish the crank, bring it home, put it back together, and maybe a few upgrades to it as well. But as it sits, that is all we've got to do for this video. I know it's a short one, but uh, we'll do it again uh, in the next one and uh, we'll start getting some things put together like the floor and the doors and the seats and all that stuff guaranteed i promise you that so having said all that it's time to end this video guys stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you god bless don't forget old car auto guy swag is available the first link in the description box below